What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FN22 series where we look at young talent foot manager and see how they get on the course of their careers. If you're excited for the episode hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're new to the daily content on the channel. Also down below is my Let's Play channel which has got until dawn and the new last of us part one remastered and never played it before so check that out when it comes out and also my twitch vod channel down below to keep up keep up to all the streams i'm live on tuesday wednesdays and fridays work permitting of course today's friday i'm working till eight so i can't be streaming and then we, we, weekends and non-streaming days so the, there will be interruptions obviously with the schedule which wouldn't be problems with me streaming is the schedule so today's player is a player that i came across that i'm curious about which is I thought I was something this, do I really? Um, Gilhim Biro. He's probably not pronounced anything like that because he's Brazilian. Um, but yeah. Um, so, guys, this is this is we'll be continuing. We're going to go to some more established names as well. Uh, just to keep going because I, I do enjoy his videos. And I'm not recording FIFA anymore, so I've got more chance to do this kind of stuff now. So, um, so yeah. Attacking midfielder from Brazil uh, who's got 100%. Who's it? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the thing. 170 max potential rating, um, which uh, I've said to that, obviously. Contract information, when the game actually does it, he's got a 25.5 million pound release clause for foreign clubs and a 3.3 million pound release clause for domestic clubs. I was fascinated why there's always a big difference in those. The, 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 the reason why, but my brain can't work out at the minute. Um, straight away, obviously, you can see um, looks like a really good player, even at 17 years old, and he's got he's got the hair to match it as well. Uh, if that's actually a real picture, then Cassie Cass Cass wouldn't be. Um, obviously, technique, passing, first touch, and dribbling stand out as the main stats. He's got um, a strong left foot and a weak right foot. Tries curve balls often, plays his shots as well. So definitely more attacking player. Could play him on the left on the right hand side, cutting on his left, and maybe on the left hand side if he. Him as a winger, but on the right hand side, inside forward and vertical winger would work out pretty well for him. Done a scout report for you guys, and obviously, um, he is. I think he's just signed a new contract. No, he hasn't. Okay, um, he's not, not saying if he's interested in joining Manchester United right now, um, but uh, he's got all that potential as you can see. Fair, uh, fair amount of pace because his performance is key. Very one footed, yeah, could would be a problem, but would. Could be a problem, depending on playing him. Uh, would need to learn a language. I'd guess so, given that he's Brazilian and 17 years old. That's not really a negative, it's the obvious thing. Um, but he's got a determined attitude and can play in a couple of positions. And I can play in three um, across the front line, maybe in the five if you count the two flat, mid, flat, flat midfield roles. So, yeah. Um, I want to. We, we, we'll try and negotiate a transfer fee and see what they ask for. Um, we're going to. Just see what they say. Well, 7.25 they say they'll take for him. So you can get him quite cheap. Now, whether we want to sign for you or not, it depends on the club you're at, obviously. So, first jump, let's see how he gets on early on in his career, the first three years or so. All right, folks, so he's still in Brazil, 20 years old now, and we've seen slow increases uh, across um, the physicality, which we will obviously see, and a couple of increases here on the on the technical side. A lot more, uh, well, one, a lot, a lot, it feels like a lot more when you see the list there, but one new player trade gets for whatever he can. Now, contract information, the lease clause has gone down um, on the foreign clubs to 11 million, and the rest of the clubs have gone up to uh, 10 point, well, but let's get 11 million pounds for both of them, really, if you want, if you want to round it up. Um, interesting to see why, why he's not moved on yet. And I thought someone would take a put on him at some point. Injury record, I don't think it's an issue. Um, well, clearly, it is, they've got three injuries in the last three years or so. Again, the main actually stand out are his, te are his technique, his, his passing. I feel like this guy could be about to explode, potentially. Um, I feel like a move. He's got three goals and three assists in the current season. Um, looking at, obviously, Brazil season is slightly skewed differently. But yeah, three goals and three assists. So. I think this guy need this guy is gonna probably move on. Where he goes, I have no clue right now. Uh, no, no interest right now. But the fee, look at the fee. The fee is about 11 million pound for for a foreign club. He's got a lot of potential, as we know, with the uh, ability 170 potential ability rating. Someone's gonna get a bargain here, I think, if they get this deal done quickly. Let's see who it is, if anybody. 
he is still at Corinthians at 24 years old. But look at the mentals and the physicality and the technique, dribbling and passing and first touch and corners. They're increasing. I'm stunned this guy's still here. I really, really am. The mentals are great. Great decision making, great determination and flair and vision and anticipation. Any more player traits? We've got tries killer, ball, tries killer balls often. He's more comfortable in the AMC as we know, but can play either side. You can make him a deep end playmaker. Maybe. Or, or advanced playmaker in attacking midfield role because of passing the vision and the technique he has. Um, I'm stunned that he's still at Corinthians and the fee's still low for a foreign club. Obviously, domestic clubs now. One minute it's three million pounds to start now, who's in twelve? It's very random that. Um, but twelve point thirty million pound, it would be to, to buy him. I'm stunned no one's got him yet. I really, really am. Um, injuries, I don't think that's a problem with him, is it? No, nothing never really concerning me. I like, I like this guy. I think the only thing about him is. Um, the main, plus about, the main plus about him, sorry, is you can get him on a re reasonably low fee. He's got the pace, he's got the agility and acceleration and dribbling. You can play him wide at AMC. I don't think you want to play him on the um, on the left hand side on his right foot because um, I think the crossing is not good in, not good enough for the B winger, and he likes to play his shots and play one too. So. You would imagine he's going to want to get into the penalty area and score goals. I mean, look at the goal record. I mean, he's got five and eight there. We go and look at it here. Here we go. 12 and nine, six and five, 15 and 18, 27 and 19. This is obviously Brazil. And also uh, five and eight in his current season. So he's scoring goals in the Brazilian league. I'm stunned he's still that Corinthians, to be honest with you. I don't think he will be much longer. I think someone will buy him in Europe. I'm, I'm sure of it. And... I don't see a negative for this guy, really, uh, other than the fact that he might not get the 170 rating you I've got here. But let's see if he moves out of Europe, moves out of South America. Well, he's got his move. He's gone to Barcelona. And straight away, look at the mentals. The mentals are absolutely fantastic for this guy. Brave aggression are the only ones that are low, and I don't think that mean, that's, that's a massive problem. For Look at the wage on 450 grand a week he's on. And you want to have Barcelona in financial problems, don't you guys? Well, this is probably why. Um, partly why. Um, I fixed it. Check out this Barcelona. See that? I fixed Barcelona, by the way. Um, not a big, not big, not big, not big achievement, but not a big achievement. But I'm taking it. Um, so look at this. Look at these player traits. Um, we've got um, plays one, plays shots. Not past the Poland. There's only new one there. They're playing right, right wing at the moment. Interesting. Um, injuries record. Okay, we've got a six month injury here for a broken lower leg, and yet we still got this development here, which is really, really good. Um, let's have a look at, his, look at his goal record. So, yeah, 15 and 18, 27 and 19, then 12 and 11, goes to Barcelona for 12.75 million, which I think is an absolute bargain deal for them. Uh, and then the first year, got four and four, then 15 and six, three and one, that's probably the year you got the broken leg, I'm assuming, the 30, yeah, it is. Um, oh, gone off. Too far. We should go back to the signal originally on, uh, and then this year 11 and 10. The fee is just mind-blowingly low. I don't know why they're not why they why they didn't buy him earlier. Look at the mentals. I mean that is fantastic, and uh, the, the pace is there as well. You can play this guy left wing, sorry right wing or uh, AMC. Apparently you can play left back as well. Apparently I won't play him there, but apparently you can play him there. I like this guy. I think you, you can get in so cheap early on that it's worth a punt. It really is worth a punt. Because even if he doesn't quite develop the way he can, you probably get a profit anyway from him. And if he gets anything like this, then, you know, I mean, the finishing is nine, but he's still getting double figures in the in La Liga. So I don't see a reason not to sign this guy. Other than maybe he won't be quite as good in your save as maybe this one. Uh, but even in uh, even in 28, 28, 28, 29, it's still cheap to sign him. Obviously, Barcelona have got a stupid fee on him, like they always do with these clauses. Makes sense from their point of view. Right then, so he's in La Liga. Let's see if he stays there. And if he does, how he gets on, can he get the 20-goal season mark achieved in the European leagues? So he's still at Barcelona, guys, and he's definitely been a late developer in this save. But look at the technicals. Dribbling 16, first at 16, free kick the same, long shots 14, passing 16, technique 18, mentals are fantastic, Pay, uh, physicality great as well. Looking at the player traits, uh, nothing new there. 
Uh, injury record, apart from a freak broken leg, which happened in training. Nothing to concern me personally about him. Let's look at how the Barcelona stats got. So we get 6, 3 and 1, 11 and 10, 14 and 9, then 11 and 10, 12 and 9, 14 and 17. Buy him now. If you don't buy him now, I will flick you on this video. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I... I would, I'm, buying, I'm buying him. I'm, I'm going to buy him in my save for a bit at some point. Might actually start one. Private save like this. What a signing this guy is. He's been Barcelona. I think definitely get him early on. Play him more. Play him more. And maybe get lucky with your save as well. And he develops quite well in your save. If you're going to sign this guy, let me know in the comment section. If you have enjoyed the video. And I hope you have enjoyed the video. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. I'll catch you all in the next one. Or next video on the channel. But until next time. Don't forget to hit that, hit that like button down below. And subscribe as well. Check out the Let's Play channel. And the VOD channel as well. Live on Twitch on Tuesday, Wednesday and Fridays. Work permitting and other commitments. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.